Hi guys, Danica Ferranti here from MyBeautyScraps.com. I am very excited to be launching something new on my channel for 2017. I'm doing a stamp set of the month and this Dragonfly Dream stamp set that you see here, which is brand new in the Stampin' Up! 2017 Occasions catalog, is the one that I chose to be the first stamp set of the month. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how it works before we get started making the card today. Um, but when this stamp set came, I just had so much fun playing with it. And I kept getting more and more ideas of different things I could do with it. So I thought it would be really fun if I focused on a different stamp set every month and just brought you tons of ideas from that one stamp set. And if you want to get in on the fun too and order this stamp set in my online store, I'll leave uh, links right to these items in my store in the description box below. Um, but if you shop for the Dragonfly Dreams or the Dragonfly, um, sorry, Detail Dragonfly Thinlit Dies in my online store, I'm going to send you a thank you card in the mail that I made using the stamp set. And then you're also going to get a little card kit so you can cre recreate that same card that I send you in the mail. I thought that would be really fun. It gives you an idea of how to use your set right away so you can get to crafting and you've got all of the paper materials you need right there. I thought it would be a really fun idea for 2017 and this stamp set is just the perfect one to kick it off. I love this set. I think it's going to be a favorite for sure in this new catalog. So I mentioned you can shop for the stamp set or the framelits, but you can also shop for the bundle. So if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up!, what that means is when you get the bundle together, you're going to save 10% off the price of each one. So it's really a great deal. And I can't remember the price of the bundle off the top of my head, but I think it's pretty close to getting you um, a free celebration item because right now it's celebration. So that means for every $50 you spend in my online store, you get to choose a free celebration item. So I think if you get this and uh, an adhesive or something, you're going to be right where you need to be to pick out a free item from the celebration catalog. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can reach me. But let's get started creating <laughs> this next card um, because I already have a video that I'll link to at the end of this video where we made this one. So this could be your thank you note, but it could also be any of the cards that we create throughout this month. So let me show you the one we're gonna make today. So this is the card that we're creating today. I love how it came out. I think you can see that little bit of wink of Stella on the wings. It's really cute. And this irresistibly floral designer series paper is just one of my favorites. Um, so let me show you what you need to make it first and then we'll get started. So if you decide to join in on the fun of my Stamp of the Month Club, this could be one of the card kits that you get in the mail along with the thank you note but I used a so saffron card base so this measures four and a quarter by five and a half it's just a regular piece of the eight and a half by eleven cardstock cut in half and then scored in half and then I used a piece of black for layering um, this is four and an eighth by four and an eighth and then this is a piece of that irresistibly floral designer series paper who you can see how it kind of has that embossed image and that's how we're going to do an embossed resist background. So this measures four by four inches. And then here I've just got a little piece of whisper white cardstock for us to stamp our dragonfly and then cut him out for the center. And the inks we're going to use today are Basic Black, So Saffron, and the Bermuda Bay Ombre ink pad. This one's really cool. You have five different variations of that Bermuda Bay. The adhesives that we're going to be using are the Snail Tape Runner and Stampin' Dimensionals. 
And we're also going to be using the Clear Wink of Stella pen. I love this pen. So let's start by creating the background for this dragonfly. I just love the Irresistibly Floral Designer Series Taper. I feel like this technique is like magic <laughs> every time I do it. I love watching that image just pop out of the background. So to color the background, I'm going to be using my So Saffron ink pad and a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to start in the center of the square and work in circular motions outward. And I'm going to go pretty close to the edge. I'm going to leave probably about a quarter inch of white around the edges. Then I'm going to use my Bermuda Bay Ombre ink pad and a sponge dauber to ink up the edges of this piece. So you can see that ink pad has five different ink pads in it with different um, variations on Bermuda Bay. So I'm just going to go with the dark one. And for this one, I'm working my way inside. So I'm kind of starting a little bit off the edge and working my way onto the cardstock. And I'm only overlapping that yellow a little bit. Where you overlap the yellow, you're gonna get just a little bit of a green where you blend. And I did want most of it to be yellow. I really think that yellow gives like a nice halo for the dragonfly. So here you can see the finished piece. You can see the way that um, the embossed flowers really pop out. And this one I did a little bit different. I left more of like a circle in the center. And on this one, I left that yellow shape more of a square. You can do whatever you like. The, the fun of it is in playing around, right? <laughs> so then I'm just going to use my snail tape runner to adhere this piece to my basic black square. I know I mentioned um, in the description box below, I'll leave links right to the Dragonfly Dreams uh, stamp set and bundle to my online store. But I always forget to mention, um, I almost always make a blog post for each video. And in that blog post, you can see up close pictures of the card that we make along with a product list. So if you're ever wondering what I use and maybe I forgot to mention it or if you're ever wanting to purchase something I used over on my website um, you can find the product list with links right to my online store to shop and there's lots of other good stuff on my website too I always keep a, um, a sales and specials page um, updated so you can find out all about the deals going on right now you know I love a good deal <laughs> So I've got our background prepped on the card. Now let's do our stamping. So I'm using basic black to stamp one of the lovely sentiments from this stamp set. As you can see, there are many. I love the versatility of the sentiments in this set. But today we're going to use Thanks for the Smile and Everything Else. So I'm just going to ink that up. And stamp that right in the center of that space we left in the bottom. I really love the font in this set too. I tell you, this has to be one of my favorite sets. And then we'll put that aside and work on our dragonfly. So here I just have a little scrap piece of Whisper White. 
and since this is such a large image, this dragonfly, I kind of go off the edge as I ink it up just to make sure I'm really getting all of that image. As you can see, <laughs> I've already thoroughly stained my dragonfly stamp. I've been using this set a ton, but I want to make sure it's all really um, inked up so that the body of the dragonfly is nice and dark. So I'm just going to stamp that down on my cardstock and give it a second for that ink to transfer. Okay, moment of truth. Beautiful. I love this stamp. Here you can see up close, it's just so detailed and gorgeous. I love it. Now, there is also a stamp, which of course I didn't mount onto my block yet, but there's a stamp to color in his wings. So you could use markers or our new watercolor pencils, um, or you can use that stamp and color them right in. And I wanna show you how I did that with the ombre ink pad, because I thought it was kind of fun. So to get some variation in color, you could just stamp it just like that. But I went with the lighter color first and inked up the top part of the wings. And then I flipped it over and inked the bottom wings with the dark side. And you could even just get like a little bit of the dark color just on the tips of the wings. And you'll notice if you look at the, um, the stamp that it's very splotchy and that is on purpose. So that if you were to just stamp this by itself, it gives it just like a watercolor look by having those variations. And because it's photopolymer, you can see right through it and line it right up with those wings and stamp it down. And here you can see how that came out. So you have that lighter area of Bermuda Bay and then the darkest area. So it just makes it a little bit more interesting than making it just one flat tone. So we'll put that ombre ink pad aside. And now let's use Wink of Stella. I love my Wink of Stella brush. I love glitter. I'm not a fan of the mess that glitter brings sometimes, but I think that's why I love Wink of Stella so much because it's glitter without the mess. <laughs> kind of like our glimmer paper. I love that too. So I just kind of go over all of the wings. You will get a little bit of bleeding from the basic black. You could use stays on um, black that won't bleed, but I kind of liked how that looked too. How it did add like a little bit of a gray hue to the lighter areas, but I thought that was pretty. And if you allow time for the ink to dry, it doesn't really bleed that badly. Now here you can see it's still a little wet, but on the finished one, I think you can see better that shimmer that you get on the wings. It's really pretty, even more beautiful in person. So now I'm going to use my coordinating thinlet. As you can see, it's super easy to line up right over that image. I'm just gonna take this over to my Big Shot and be right back. All right, so I have my Dragonfly all cut out and ready to go on my card. You know I love my Stampin' Dimensionals, so I'm just gonna put um, two under the wings there. 
and plop that dragonfly right down in the middle of that beautiful halo we created. How cute is that card? I just love it. And it's so fun to make. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am for my stamp of the month for January 2017, Dragonfly Dreams. Um, all you have to do is shop for either the stamp set or the bundle in my online store and enter the host code that I'll leave in the description box below and I'll send you out a thank you card that I created using the Dragonfly Dream set and a card kit so you can create it too. I think it's such a fun idea. Um, the only thing I want to mention is if you check out as a guest in my online store and you click that little box that says no contact, I can't see who you are, so I can't send you your card kit. Um, I felt terrible last weekend. Somebody purchased the Dragonfly Dream set from me, but they checked no contact, so I can't send them their card kit. So if you're watching this video and that was you, please contact me and let me know so I can send it out to you if you'd like it. Um, but I promise I will not <laughs> I will not be calling you. That's not what that, uh, that con no contact button means. Um, it's only so I can send you your card kit. So if you'd like it, make sure you don't check that box. And of course, if you have any questions, big or small, please contact me. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can do that. I always love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching my video today, and I'll talk to you soon. Lots more ideas coming up using this set. <laughs> Bye, guys.